Hey, welcome back to Gun Prime. Today we're going to be comparing three AR-15 pistols. First up, we've got the Smith & Wesson MMP-15. So this one's new, just out on the market. Next, we have the Ruger AR-556. And last but not least, we have the Springfield Saint pistol. So we're going to compare all three of these, but uh, let's go over here. We're going to put some rounds down range and show you what the differences in these three pistols are. All right, so first let's take a look at this Ruger AR-556. So I really like this gun. They've upgraded right off the bat, like just from their standard AR-15. They upgraded this forward grip right here. It's a metal forward grip. It's got the same flash hider as their standard AR. Let's see what this thing will do. Hope you can see those splashes. So anyways, this is the Ruger. Doesn't come with any sights. Basically what they did is they just took their AR-15, AR-556 platform and chopped it down, shorter barrel, put a brace on it. This grip's pretty cool. That's their standard. It's their standard OEM grip right there. Curved trigger, just a cool AR platform. All right, so this one is empty. Okay, so next we're gonna look at the Springfield Saint pistol. They make three different types. This is the base platform. So this one's gonna come with a polymer handguard up here. Optics ready, you can put the sights on it. It's got a standard flash hider also. This little fin will adjust out. Let's take a few shots with this one. Let's see, can you see? I need to shoot like right in there, don't I? So I came down to this little runoff pond. I thought it'd be kind of fun to shoot into. Last but not least, this is the Smith & Wesson. It's an M&P 15. First thing I noticed about this one that's a little bit different is instead of that standard flash hider, this has more of a linear compensator. It shoots the blast forward. It's got a different grip on it. And it's got the SBA3 brace. Let's take a couple shots with this. Woo! All right, let's see if we can give you guys a shot now. Check out the fireball on this one. All right, so let's take a look at the Ruger first. It's clear. There's no bullets in it. So Ruger did probably what I would have done if I had an AR-15, if I was a company building an AR-15 and uh, was gonna make a pistol out of it. They pretty much took their standard AR-556, chopped it down, 
I made it into a pistol. So you get the shorter barrel, the same flash hider, put this brace on it, and call it a pistol. I and mean, that's what I would have done. It feels a lot like the AR-15 platform. I like it. It feels good. It shoots good. Shooting it into the water is always a blast. But no complaints. They've got their they've got the Ruger grip on here, the proprietary grip. Or I mean I guess they made them just for these. One and eight twist on the barrel. I'm glad they put the metal handguard up here versus the um, polymer one that comes from the standard AR556. So overall, it's a great gun, no complaints. It just feels like a standard AR-15, but I do like the metal forward grip. I'm glad that they upgraded it and put a metal forward grip on it. All right, so let's take a look at the next AR pistol. Okay, we've got the Springfield Saint right here. Let's take a look at this guy. So again, they took the Springfield Saint, their base model, and just cut the barrel down, made it shorter. It's got the same flash hider on it. Um, this one has a polymer grip up front. I mean, it still feels good. It's better than just like the base model that comes on a standard AR usually. You know, that those cheap plastic handguards. This one doesn't feel cheap at all. It's got the place up here where you can mount that front sight if you want to. I'd probably put a red dot on it though. Oh, there we go. So the grip on this one will open up if you want to keep a cleaning kit in there. Maybe a couple extra backup rounds, who knows. Um, look at that trigger. So nice rounded trigger. There you go. Nice rounded trigger. It feels good. It shoots good. I probably prefer the SBA3 tactical brace that's adjustable. This one, you um, unscrew it and can move it out further if you want to. I mean, I guess the it's lightweight though, and this paddle is pretty neat. So it's meant to like strap to your wrist or shoulder it. But again, it's a good solid AR-15 and you really can't go wrong. Springfield makes some good guns. They're shipping a lot of guns right now, which is nice. You probably can find them in stock places. But all right, so that's the Springfield. Once again, mount your red dot on there if you want to. This is my only, the only thing I like better about the Ruger other than this one is it's harder to adjust this backstop. But, all right, we'll move on to the next gun. Okay, so this is the newest model that I know of. This is the Smith & Wesson MMP15. So it comes with this adjustable brace here on the back. Flat top. Take a look at the rail on top right there. So you can mount your sights or a red dot. One thing that's different than this one about all the other ones, I'm sorry I'm looking off to the side guys. There's a screen I have right here so I'm trying to make sure you can see everything I'm, I'm talking about. But instead of that standard birdcage flash hider, this one's got like a linear compensator on it. You probably saw the blast when I was shooting it. Huge flames coming out of the end of it. It's pretty fun. It was a little bit scary the first time, I wasn't expecting that. But let's see, there we go. So, and this one's got a metal forward grip right here, a metal handguard. I like that, it feels really solid. It feels really good. Let's take a look at the trigger if you want to. So this one has a, if you can see it there, it has a straight trigger. I like the way it feels, I like a straight trigger. So let's show you how much it'll move. Make sure one more time that we're empty. All right. The sun's not really showing very, I, don't, I want you to be able to see. There we go. One more time. Get the reset. Audible click. And fire. Let's take a look at the triggers on the other ones real fast. This is the same. Get the pine straw off of it. I feel like triggers are a pretty important part. All right, so firing. Get the reset. Audible click. And last but not least, we'll do the Ruger.
Got it on safety. Audible click. Fire. So one of the things that Smith did that was kind of cool is this grip right here, instead of being like a standard AR-15 grip like we're on the other two, is it's got it more like their MMP pistols. So it feels, this grip feels a lot more like their MMP pistols. It's got adjustable back straps so you can um, have it small, medium, large. You can adjust the size and the, the way the grip feels. And at first I didn't really, at first I didn't care for the grip a whole lot. Now that I've shot it a few times, it just feels neat. It feels good in my hand. And um, I wasn't too sure about it. I'm gonna keep playing with it, but I think I like this grip. So really you can't go wrong. Let's get all three of these up here. So last time I compared all three of these guns, or I compared three guns that were pistols, like micro compacts, and everybody always wanted me to pick one and pick my favorite. It's just hard to do. I like them all. They all have advantages and disadvantages, but I want to give you a look, an up close look at each of them. I'm not going to pick my favorite, but I am going to just show them all to you, fire them a few times, and let you guys see what they're like. So now you can go out and buy all three of them, add them to your gun collection. Who needs just one AR pistol? You need three. So that's a quick comparison between the Smith & Wesson, the Springfield Armory and the Ruger AR pistols. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you later. Next. Whoopsie.